Hi everyone. We have already studied about globes and maps. What's a globe? A globe is an exact model of earth. What's a map? Maps are drawings of the whole or a part of earth on a flat surface. In short, maps and globes are showing earth. But we can see a lot of lines on these maps and globes. Have you ever seen this type of lines on ground or soil? No, we can't see these lines on earth, isn't it? But in globes and maps, we can see a lot of horizontal and vertical lines. What's a horizontal line? Horizontal line means parallel or base lines. What is vertical lines? Vertical line means a steep line or a straight line or unsloped line. We can see a lot of this type of vertical and horizontal lines in globes and maps. From where these lines come? Are these lines real? No, these lines are not real. We can't see these lines on earth. These lines on maps and globes are imaginary. What is the purpose of these imaginary lines? The famous Egyptian traveler Erastosthenes calculated the circumference of the earth. He realized that any place in the world can be pinpointed precisely. How can we locate the various places on the earth? The axis of the globe on which it rotates. Just as the globe, the earth rotates on its own axis. Like the axis of the earth, the globe's axis also tilted at an angle of 23 and half degree. Like the earth, the globe also has two points. These points are called poles. The point at the top is called North Pole and the point at the bottom is called South Pole. A set of circles and semicircles can be seen on the surface of the globe. Among these, the semicircles that run from North to South are called longitudes or meridians of longitude. Those circles which from east to west are called latitudes or parallels of latitudes. First we can study about latitudes or parallels of latitude. Latitudes are imaginary circles running from east to west on a globe. These lines are parallel to each other. One such imaginary line of latitude is the equator. The most important and the longest parallel of latitude is equator. All the other latitudes are numbered from this equator. Equator divides the earth into two equal halves known as hemispheres. The northern part of the earth above the equator is called northern hemisphere and the southern part of the earth below the equator is called southern hemisphere means the upper half of the equator is called northern hemisphere and the lower half of the equator is called southern hemisphere. The north pole represented as 90 degree north while south pole represented as 90 degree south. The equator is marked as 0 degree. It is also called the great circle. Which is known as great circle? The most important and the longest parallel of latitude is equator. This equator is known as great circle. Now we can draw parallel equidistant lines at a distance of 1 degree towards the north and south from the equator. These lines are called the lines of latitude. As they move towards the poles, they keep getting shorter and shorter. There would be 90 lines to the top of the equator and 90 lines to the bottom of the equator. Thus, there are 181 lines of latitude. That means 90 lines in the top of the equator and 90 lines to the bottom of the equator. 90 plus 90 is equal to 180 plus Equator. Equator is also a latitude is equal to 181 lines of latitude or parallels of latitude. Can you say how many latitudes are drawn on the globe? 181 latitudes. In northern hemisphere, the latitudes are labeled as 10 degree N, 
20 degree n like that while in southern hemisphere they are labeled as 10 degree s 20 degree s like that some latitudes have special names which are they can we look one of the important latitude is equator 0 degree equator it is also called great circle if we move northward from this equator we will find the tropic of cancer at 23 and half degree north then if we move again northward from tropic of cancer we will find the arctic circle at 66 and half degree north and last north pole at 90 degree north if we move southward from the equator we will find the tropic of capricorn at 23 and half degree south if we move again southward from the tropic of capricorn we can see antarctic circle at 66 and half degree south and last south pole at 90 degree south then say which are the important latitudes tropic of cancer at 23 and half degree north and tropic of capricorn 23 and half degree south then 66 and half degree north arctic circle and its south is antarctic circle next is 90 degree south pole and 90 degree north pole these are the important latitudes then try to say which are the characteristics of latitudes the lines of the latitudes are parallel to each other and they never meet this is the important peculiarity of latitudes all latitudes are actually circles drawn in each hemisphere they became smaller and smaller as they moved towards the poles all latitudes other than equator are called small circles and they cannot divide the earth into two equal halves only equator divide the earth into two equal halves north pole at 90 degree in the northern hemisphere and southern pole at 90 degree in the southern hemisphere are just two points on the tilted axis on the earth these are the main characteristics of the latitudes